Morning guys, got a picture early today, well early for me. Watched the sunrise at St Moors, and now I've driven down to Land's End. Arrived, I looked on Google Maps last night, found a little place just outside the village of Senon, which looked like a lay-by that would be suitable for parking in, and sure enough I've got here and perfect. Just put the kettle on, didn't have a cuppa before I left this morning. This is where I'm parked. I'll show you more as I leave the van in a minute. But yeah, I'm heading to Land's End, gonna walk across the cliff tops, a little bit of a loop walk. And this is, I've never been here before, so this is as far as I've gone west. Okay, catch you later. So I parked up in Senon, about a mile or two back up the road just approaching Land's End now. It's a glorious morning and the forecast is for a fantastic weather day. The views are already great and I haven't quite got to the outlook yet. Uh, we have our own stone circle. Model village. various rides around the corner, 4D rides and Shaun the Sheeps and things like that. But, um, Cornish Air Ambulance, a site I've always wanted to do is a helicopter trip. I've done a seaplane in Key West in Florida. So there it is. Land's End. The last few rocks before I start heading northeast at the North Cornish and Devon coasts and then the second leg of my five leg journey will be Wales. It's kind of nice that there's some rocks out there and a lighthouse out there because otherwise I would just be staring at an empty sea and as far as my trip goes there's been a lot of empty sea all the way from Margate through Dover all the way along the south coast. There's a view I wasn't expecting. So at Land's End we have Ennis Dodman and then behind it we have Armed Knight and there's a lighthouse in the distance. Yeah, as I was saying earlier, I'd love to do a helicopter trip. <laughs> to save a little bit of money for one of those and choose exactly the location. Obviously don't want it to be an air ambulance like what I saw earlier. You gotta love this coastal path.
a lovely place to have a rest and there was some seals might still be in shot but I can't see them at the moment very hard to see on a GoPro as it's such a wide angle Nanjizal Bay shame it's not low tide because there's a lovely sandy beach down there hidden by the waves. Anyone seen my collie? Ah, there they are. Well, after that four hour walk, I'm absolutely knackered. Sunshine's glorious out there. I'm going to chill out for about half an hour, have something to eat. Then I'm going to walk down to Senan Cove, chill out there for a few hours. Car parking space here is perfect for the day. There's a motorhome behind me, then a car, then a transporter. So, popular spot parked up here for the day. The walk down to Senan Cove. This is the beach at Senan Cove. What an amazing beach it is, and all. In that direction is the airport, Lands End Airport. This is Senan Cove, with Senan up behind this hill here. Great place to learn to surf. I really caught the sun this morning. Could have done with some sun lotion on. I'm using Factor 30 now. But uh, with the amount of walking I've been doing the last few days, even even the wind will give me a bit of a sunset. But this is uh, Senan Cove, beautiful sea here. Beach and the water is so clean. Why is it when you arrange your holiday with friends, the weather's always shit. And when you're out and about exploring, you get weather like this and it is absolutely gorgeous still only the first week what is it the 6th of april feels like august wonderful well this is land's end i've had a great day today i've walked for hours along the coast inland back to the van for lunch then I walk down to Senan Cove and across the hills to Land's End again. I'm going to go back to the van via Senan Cove. I've walked about the best part of 10 miles probably today. Hard to know exactly until the end of the day. I've completed the whole of the south coast from Margate right now to Land's End. And I think I'm going to take a break. Van life doesn't need to be nomadic life. So gonna plan a few holidays, meet up with a few friends and uh, spend this summer enjoying the van, continuing the van life videos. Yeah.